going on YouTube welcome back again to the channel for today's video actually the next couple of videos is gonna be all Camry content because I gotta get this car ready for Gatlinburg I'm about to show you guys what I've been purchasing we got a couple things in I'm still waiting on the headlights so I can show you guys what we got for the uh, Camry let's get right into it well guys as you can see we got a couple boxes in I know you guys see the new bumper first thing we got is actually the bumper i put the lip on it just to make sure that everything lines up it is an aftermarket bumper so there's a couple things that need to be cut out uh, that don't come pre-cut and also it doesn't have my quick release tab which i will be showing you guys how to install these on this uh video but i'm gonna go ahead and get right into that to install those quick releases but also I want to show you guys the new grill I got. Probably on the previous videos, you could see the other one that had some chrome in it. Decided to go a little different since I had to get a new grill. Uh, let me go ahead and take it out the bag. Oh yeah, guys, one with the all mesh black grill. Kind of lined it up here. Can't really tell too much since the bumper is still black. I feel like it's going to look pretty good. It's going to be a different look for the Camry. Got the grill. Got these fog lights here. All right. Got these fog lights here, guys. Um, I actually seen them online. They were for a different uh, type of Toyota. I think it was like a Highlander, but it showed that it does fit the Camry. Um, and they look kind of the same. They look like they fit in that hole. But they are um, LED and they do have the sequential turn signal. It comes with everything. Um, it comes with all the wires. I'm guessing this is for the signal, the turn signal. The plug is on here which connects to the turn signal and then it has the regular light, which is right there. Only thing I'm waiting on now is my headlights. So my painter just hit me up telling me to drop off the car. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these quick releases drilled out and ready just so I can put the bumper on, just so I could drive it over there. I'm gonna drive it over there with no headlight. See, hopefully I don't get pulled over. Let's get right into this. All right guys, after a little bit of trimming and measuring, I uh, went ahead and lined up the bumper as I could. Lined it up as good as I could. I can feel the little stud here. I'm gonna go ahead and press it against it. And with the hammer, slightly tap on it, just so I can make a mark through the inside. And then I'll go ahead and start drilling it out. All right, looks like I made a mark. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a small hole. Perfect, lines up. See the little thing protruding right there? I'm gonna go ahead and finish drilling it out. Let's see if it clips on now, and we'll go from there. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Perfect. All right, guys, the other side is done. Everything lined up. Uh, I do have a little bit of lining up issues here with the bumper, but hopefully the painter can help me out and get this to line up a little bit better. Probably gotta just bend the tabs up. Uh, but once I get the headlight, then I could really figure that out. Cause on this side, it lines up here, but down here, probably just have to hit it with some heat. Yeah guys, hopefully this is the last time you guys see this car in this condition. Next time we're gonna have new grill, new headlights, painted lip, painted bumper, fog lights, and hopefully it'll be back to 100% because um, it's definitely neglected and just sitting back here. But yeah, from here now, I'm gonna go straight to the painter, drop off the car. I might do a little video once I drop it off there and then we'll pick back up when it's nice and painted. See you guys soon. guys we're back and as you can tell the car is painted grills in still got to do the headlights emblem i'll be showing you guys how i flip the emblem got to put the bottom grill in fog lights um but yeah this is how it came out i'm actually pretty excited how good it looks it's not even buffed yet so probably when i get the car detailed i'll do a nice light buff on the whole car just so, so it could match everything as far as like the new bumper paint to the 
one year old chain job, which is still in good condition. But I went ahead and I fixed the, the quarter panels as well because they were kind of bashed in, which it's a good thing I did because I got accepted into the show. So now I have to make it look show car ready. And they're really strict this year as far as the Gatlinburg catfish policy. So honestly don't want them to just deny me once I'm there at the door for any little stupid thing. So it's definitely crunch time, about seven days left for the show. And this is how the car looks right now. I'm still say 60% way done. I'll show you on the quarters what I fixed, but, but yeah, guys, I still gotta do a lot of stuff, but let's show the paint out a little bit. So this is the quarters. Ended up fixing them because my rim was hidden here. Uh, before I cambered it more so I ended up messing up both my quarters splitting the paint up uh, so I have to redo the livery that goes right here over this which I'll be doing probably tomorrow but paint came out pretty good redid the whole quarter panel still shiny it's wet right now and it still needs to get buffed but can't really tell no difference on the paint other side as well got fixed let me just get right into putting these headlights on and these fog lights and we'll be right back all right guys, let's get right into this. In the emblem put back my little trd thing real clipped in pretty good i still have to mess with this light a little bit on the tabs on the inside because it's still off by a little bit i don't know if you can tell right there a little gap but i got the lights on they look immaculate got the fog lights on i couldn't get the uh turn signal function to work but yeah at least they worked so got the lid back on got that on i'm gonna show you guys a little quick before I end this video, I'm gonna show you guys a little quick tutorial on how to flip your emblem. Pretty simple. A lot of people ask me about it on uh, my Instagram posts and stuff like that and TikTok. But before I end this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. And then I'll pick up in the next video once I get the livery done and I start detailing it and doing my wheels. But let me show you a quick tutorial, all right guys? All right guys, so what you're gonna, gonna wanna do, so if you put it the right way, the correct way, See how it kind of fits in. These tabs here are off-centered. So the two top ones are a little bit farther apart than the two bottom ones. So what I ended up doing when I flipped it was just make the two top ones a little bit more in and then the two bottom ones sit a little bit more out. So what I did is I got my drill and I just softly eight at the corners, just to make it a little wider. You're gonna wanna do them little by little, just so that you don't eat too much and then the emblem ends up falling off. All right, once you guys have them pretty much lined up where it's cut out a little bit more on both sides, uh, you're gonna wanna just basically pop it in. It should stay in there. Uh, if it's still giving you issues, you can take it off again obviously carefully and then trim a little bit more and there you have it that's how you guys uh flip your Toyota sign upside down well guys that's pretty much going to conclude today's video uh like i said this is gatlinburg prep uh, i got the front pretty much mocked up and set up uh probably going to drop it off to do the livery tomorrow um also need to change the tire on it and go over the whole car like i said guys this is the gatlinburg prep I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hopefully I'm done with the car, putting it on the trailer so I can be ready for the show. But go ahead and catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.